Hi, in this video I will look at how to apply page numbers to a Word document from specific pages. I have prepared this sample report and we will use this uh, for the example. So in this report we want to have the page numbers starting at this page here. So this is the fourth page of the document and we would like this page to display page number one at the bottom because the previous three pages for contents, terms of reference and the cover page should not contain page numbers. By default within Microsoft Word if you apply page numbers to a document which we can do just now you will notice that each page you know, starts from the first page. So each page will receive a page number, but the first page of the document will have the number one and that will continue through. So I'm going to undo this just now and I'll demonstrate how to do this. So I appreciate that some people may be doing this on the document at the same time. So we will walk through this process a little bit slowly so that you can follow with the Word document. I would rec make the recommendation that if you're doing this, you save the document or have a look at the blog post that I've written and you can bookmark that. To start this process, we want to have the Word document with no page numbers on it already. So if you have page numbers at the bottom, clear those and take those away. What we then want to do is find the page of the document you would like to say as the first page. So in my document it is a fourth page and I would like at the bottom here to have number one. If you're using dynamic table of contents that will then also show page number one but I will remind you at the end to update the table of contents. So starting at the page you want to display as page number one go to the start of the page and for me it's at the start of this header here and what you want to do is go to the page layout tab, go to the breaks menu and insert a next page break. So once you've selected that there will be no confirmation from Word at all that that has been done. If you do want to confirm that the next page break is in place go back to the home tab, click on the show hide button and if you scroll to the previous page you will be able to see the next page break. This also, for your information, displays where you have inserted page breaks on the document. And you can see I've put one at the end of each page. To take that away, you just press on the show hide button again and those symbols will disappear. What we now want to do is insert page numbers to the, the document. Now when we do this, they will start from the first page. So from the introduction page here I'll show you, we're going to go to the insert tab, select page number and then select your preference. So I'm going to go for bottom of page and I'll just select the one in the middle there. So you can see that on my introduction page the page that I want to show as page number one is now showing as page number four. And this is fine. So once you've did that you'll notice that you're now automatically on the design tab at the top of the page. And on the design tab there will be a highlighted option called link to previous. You can see on my screen just now that that is showing as blue and, and that is the, the standard behaviour. What you want to do is click on that once so that that is no longer highlighted. Now what you want to do is go back to the insert tab, select the page number option again like before but this time select the option to format page numbers. Now remember that we are still on what is currently page 4 and will become page 1 of our new document. What we want to do is to press the option for start at down the bottom and that will automatically default to page number 1. Then we're going to say OK. And you can now see that page number one is my introduction page which is actually the fourth page of the document which you can see down in the bottom left hand corner here. If we scroll down to the next page you'll see that's now page number two and page number three and, and that will continue throughout the length of your document. 
If we scroll back to the third page of our document, which we now wish to have no page number, you'll notice that it shows page number 3. And unsurprisingly, the first two also shows 1, 2 and 3. Now, when we pressed the option to delink the from the previous, what, what we did is we, we pressed the option to stop the link to previous. What that has done is split these two sections of the document in two. If you're familiar with Microsoft Word, you'll understand that when you make a change to the footer or the header, it repeats throughout the document. Well, that stops that from happening. What that allows us to do is go to one of the first three pages of the document. I'll just take the third one. Select the page number and simply press delete to remove that. That's now gone. You'll notice if I go back up to page 2, it's gone. Page 1, it's gone. But if we go to the page 4, which we want to be our new page 1, the page number remains. What I'm going to do is just add the word page to this. And if I just double click onto the document to come out of the footer. So, the end result, we have no page number on the first page, which is a cover page. The terms of reference doesn't have a page number either. And here's the contents page. On the fourth page of the document, which we want to be recognised as the first page for our purposes, now shows as page number one with our additional um, word page. And that has been repeated for page two, page three, um, and I only have the, the four pages of, of text in the document. That would repeat through your whole report. If you do that and you're using a dynamic table of contents, so if you use a table of contents throughout the management tool that Word provides, what you now need to do is right click on your table of contents and update that, just as you would do as you progress through your document. That will then ensure that the page numbers align correctly to the pages on the table of contents. That's all there is to it. If you do have any questions or require support, please let me know. Thanks for watching.